And Trevor, you can go first. Hey, Shari, good to see you. Thanks for doing this. Um, just learning and getting in the months now, um, what, these, what you've seen with this defensive scheme, the things, what have you had to do more just to prepare for the roles you're going to have this year? And how do you think overall this scheme fits the personnel with what you guys got in the secondary? Um, just overall, me just being, you know, that guy that been here since freshman year, I just had to learn this whole defense. I mean, honestly, I love the defense. I feel like it's like more of a like NFL type of scheme of defense for us. So I feel like uh, Coach Marv, AP, like all the coaches getting us ready for the next level. So, I mean, we're going to make plays on this defense. I feel like uh, it's a lot of, we got a lot of playmakers on the, um, in the secondary. So just be, be, be ready for that, us making plays. Jacob. How, how would you say that this off season you were able to physically prepare for this year? Because I know that strength and conditioning wise, it might've been a little bit different with everything that went on. So how, how did you kind of balance that out and prepare for this year? Um, I feel like uh, just the little things, you know, us meeting together as a group, you know, Zoom meetings uh, like that, going over plays. Uh, I feel like us like never took the, uh, just us as, as ASU, us like as a, as a team, never stop working out or never stop like doing us, you know? So I feel like that's just made us mentally like strong and it's just made us like better as a football team. Trevor. Ashari, DeAndre is a poly guy. Um, another one for you guys in the secondary. Uh, what have you just seen from him and what's he gonna be able to provide to your room this year? Oh man, Dre, that's a, that's my that's my guy, that's my boy. Uh honestly, Dre is like one of the smartest dudes on the defense. I mean, I give him his credit. He know everything. You know, he know not just what the secondary doing, he know what the front the first four doing. You know, he know what, what everybody doing. Uh what I expect out of Dre, is that this a big year for him? I know he decided to play. He haven't played for a long time because he's been injured at Boise. So I know. I know his mindset right now, and this is, you know, this is his last year, so I know he want to, like, shock everybody, like, and show everybody what he's capable of doing. Even I'm not saying he didn't do that at Boise because he was like that at Boise too, but I just feel like him just taking that role as a leader, you know, coming in, you know, in the spring, whatever case might be, and him just uh, – I just seen him just doing better and just being him by himself. And I just, I just love the fact that he came here and he's just, you know, enjoying himself, you know. And um and he just like he fit in right along you know we treat him as I treat him well, not just me but everybody we treat him as like our brother you know so I expect him to make some plays which he is gonna make some plays you know don't get me wrong that boy he come with the bang so I'm expecting him to just go crazy. Adam. Hey Ashari. So one thing uh, Chase told us earlier in the week was how well the the younger DBs have done so far through the, these this opening week of practice. Can right. you speak a little bit to their uh, play and how well they've they've kind of competed so far? Oh man, honestly, our our young our young cats they strapped up. You know they lock in. You know, at the end of the day, I feel like um, they go they gonna get in. You know, in regards of the fact and they're the future of ASU. So, you know, them seeing us all turned up and us making plays that made them you know turned up and start making plays. So I feel like. You know, they, they real life, like a lockdown secondary as a young cat. You know, they remind me of me when I came in, you feel me? So I'm, I'm just proud to know how far they came, how mature they became, uh, become actually. And I can't wait for them. To, I can't wait for them to suit up against SC because I know they're going to do their thing. Trevor. Uh, sorry, last year, Coach Pierce told us about how he set sort of a pro plan for Brandon Ayuk before the season and how we wanted him to get his body right, focus on rehabilitation and things like that. Have the coaches kind of similarly outlined things for you? I know you have a lot of potential at that next level um, in terms of your, phys uh, your physical fitness or anything along those lines. Right, right, yeah. Um, uh, speaking of AP, AP been on me always. You know, that's my, uh, that's not even my coach. I consider him as family. So, you know, he been on me. We have our little talks, you know, our one-on-ones. And he's just basically telling me what I need to do as far as my body and stuff like that. And if anything, if uh, if they see, if I seem a little off or if I need to pick up on, you know, my weight or whatever the case might be, that's what Coach Joe and uh, Diaz and all them guys down there for. They always told me about my weight. You need to eat. Um, I just asked Jordan, you know, to send me send me the little PowerPoint on, you know, hydrating and stuff like that, just the little things so I could be 
you know, uh, a step ahead of my opponent or just a step ahead of others on the team. So I want to stay uh, healthy as possible. I, I want to be injury free. Like if the only injury I really want this year is some something slight like a cut or, you know, um, a broken nail or something like that, something slight where I can, you know, wrap that up and just go in the game and just, you know, uh, go out there, play with my brothers, you know. So that's the only thing I, I can say about that. Oh, hi, Shari. Um, you've been around Merlin your entire ASU career. Uh, what have you noticed different about him and just the lead up to this season? Um, I mean, Merlin is Merlin. You know, at the end of the day, that boy is like that. You know, um, I've been knowing Merlin since since high school. You know, she you knows. Uh, so I I've, I've been new with Merlin. Um, he been doing this since Pop Warner and like he never changed. He's been the same dude. I think the only thing with him that's going to separate him from others is that he not playing this year. You know, he he took a big L. He lost his pops, you know, so I feel like he finna go out there. Just, you know, do it for him. I know I know for sure if he was still here, he going to still do it for him. And plus, he got he you know, he got two at he got two at the crib. Well, I mean, my dad, he got two kids at the crib, so he going to go crazy for them. You know? I feel like for Merlin, he's like more on that focus, like, you know, I'm going I'm to play with y'all for this, but when, when I'm on the field, I'm focused, you know, like don't play with me, you know. So I feel like, yeah, just, you know, I, not just him, but everybody, you know, we're not playing like this year, bro. We're not playing with nobody. I feel like this is like a lot of – this is a statement year for a lot of us, you know. So with Merlin, I just feel like he's going to keep doing what he's doing, but he's going to go ten times harder, you know. Go ahead, Doug. One last thing is sorry. Um you have pretty good eyes at your position on the quarterback, of course. What what differences have you noticed uh, in Jaden Daniels from last year to this year? Oh, Jalen, uh, J5, my boy, uh, and folks. Uh, what I know is about J5 is, you know, I he got a little bigger. You know, I I be seeing a little muscle on him. You know, he so I see he be hitting the weights and. I mean, J with J five, I just feel like it's natural in him. Like it's 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 becoming it's becoming like a free throw for him. It's it's becoming easy for him. Like he be like in practice, he be calling out our plays, our, our coverages. Like he be telling me like, you know, a four, you in, you in the deep middle, or you you got you got him. You know, I be like, damn, like he be knowing my our plays. You know, so bro, that IQ is crazy. You know, and I just feel like uh. Man, I just feel like I want him to just dominate SC. I know a lot of people from SC, so I just and I told everybody like we not we not playing with y'all when we come to y'all stadium, like cause we feel me like I'm a I'm a you know SoCal dude. I, you know they was recruiting me heavy. I used to be at SC all the time, so I'm telling them they and they know about us. They know of us, you know, but they don't know what type of weapons we got. They just know from last year and all that. So you know, and this is this is the rematch. You know, it's one one. For me, my like how long I've been here, we beat SC my freshman year. We lost them my sophomore. Year. Now it's just one one right now. We trying to get the two one, you know. So yeah, I'm I'm expecting I'm expecting JD to, to like at least score two times, throw three bombs or whatever the case might be. You know, I'm expecting him to go crazy. I know he is. I'm not even like sweating on him because even if he not make a big play or he throw an interception, whatever the case might be, I know he gonna make up for it. I put my trust in him. That's star QB. All right, thank you, Ashari. We got Evan Fields coming up. Thanks. Y'all have a good one.